morning everyone. I hope you're all well. It's a bit chilly here. Um, I say it'll be cracking on doing some work. At least it's not helming the gear or coming it down with rain. Um, right, so what we're going to do today on the cabbie. Have a look. As I said, we've got the floor here. So we've just lazily sat it underneath, you know. Um, yeah, no better place to store it really. We don't really have a room for anywhere else. And it will be going in shortly, so we'll have to do quite a few dummy runs and um, get it lined up and take a load of measurements. But before we can get on with that, we've got this um, rear corner here to deal with. You can see the lips a bit worse for wear, so we're going to cut the lip and just have a look around the back. There's a little hole just here and a little bit of... It's not through, it's just surface corrosion, it would grind away, but I might as well just cut this section out and replace this. So I'm going to make a panel out of the offcuts off the Rover stuff, which is in good condition. Um, same as we did the other side, and replace this. And then after we've got that replaced, well, part of doing that, I'm going to have to cut this wheel arch just to relieve this quarter panel because this quarter panel while it's been stored it's also took a bit of a, a bit of a wallop so it just wants pushing back over a little bit before I start welding up down here otherwise I'll have no chance of getting it straight the other thing we're going to be doing is the repair panel on the back here as you can see when it's um, it's had the boot floor in but it's it somehow uh, sustained a bit of a a bit of a wallop which is pushed the back end a bit so the back end wants a little bit of straightening but I'll have to cut the boot floor along here where it's been tacked in years ago um, just to relieve it so we can make sure this back panel's straight um, then we're going to get this rear section cut off here and replace with the heritage one there, which we've had kicking about for a few years now. So that's what we're going to do today. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get on do some cutting. Um, we'll get a plate made up. What I'll do, I'll come back to you when we're ready to put the plate in with the made up plate. Um, there's no point really showing you how to make the plate, we won't make the plate up. Basically all we'll do, to the size, we'll make sure it's got a lip on, but the lip will be hanging out by itself sort of thing so we can curl the lip around to the shape we want then I'll weld it in from the rear grind it off and then I've got the made panel with a perfect seaming works on the other side so it should work on this side it worked every other time as well obviously anyway right I'll get back to you when we've um, made that panel and we're about to shoot it in speak in a minute You all right, all? Um, so, yeah, we've made the little patch up. Just around there, we've just fired a couple of tacks on just to hold it in place, and then we'll um, continue with the tack until we've built up a full seam, and we'll grind it back, and that should keep that panel nice and flat. We haven't gotten to the back yet, so we're going to complete this first. Like I say, we'll tack that in, grind it back, dress it up. We won't take it only 100% ground back. Um, find that grinding discs tend to eat a bit more into your panel as you're grinding so I like to use um, a flap disc and they tend to clean them up a lot better than the grinder will um, so we don't end up thinning the metal out and back to having a hole where we've just fixed one um, so we've straightened this section up as well now so we're all good to go here um, so what I'll do, I'll crack on I'll get this welded, get it ground, pop back to you um, and, we'll, and then we'll get a move on with this back section here Hey guys, back shortly. So that's the panel in guys. So just to uh, just be ground back now. All sitting nice and level, there's no distortion. Obviously with a small plate like this you you're unlikely to get distortion, but it's some something you need to be careful of, obviously, so you don't want to be using bucket loads of filler. Um, so all that remains with this now is um, I'll give it a grind up, I'll get some primer on so it's protected so it won't rust anymore until we, uh, well, it won't rust anymore end of, but it just protects it until we get um, to the 
point where we'll put more metal on so probably end up stripping the primer off again but it's just there for protection for now right then um, so what I'm doing I'm going to crack on now I'll get this section ground up get it primed and then I'll, I'll move on to the back end um, and we'll get the your boot hinge panelling right so I'll crack on I'll do some grinding um, and I'll get back to you guys see you in a sec Yeah, alright guys. Uh, yeah, it's a bit chilly. So yeah, there we are with uh, that little repair panel in. It's ground up. Um, like I say, we we'll finish it off with a flap disc. We're just going to hoy a little bit of primer on it now, um, so we know it's it's not going to be rusting anymore for the time being. Slight little well line still left in, but we leave that for the flap disc to take care of. Otherwise, like I say, we just end up grinding through the metal. Right, so next, what I'm going to do now is cut and relieve this back panel, make sure it's all straight, and then we'll put a new boot hinge repair panel in. So I'll get on, I'll cut this down here so we've released it. Um, Get the new hinge panel into place, uh, just line it up with this one, mark out where I'm going to cut it, get the cuts made and it's the same thing again, it's just um, tack it into position and then slowly build the welds up while not building any temperature up in the panel. Um, so obviously yeah we don't want no distortions. And we'll have to have a, a little bit of a chew on with these seam covers here, so we're going to have to make our own seam covers obviously when we come up with it. Uh, but these, I think they're glued on. <laughs> it's not usual clips behind there. I've had, I've had a try at pulling them previously, but they were, they were solid onto the body. Um, so yeah, whether they're glued on, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them off. I don't see, uh, I'm gonna get them off in one piece, but obviously I have no choice because I need to get to this panel here to spot weld the new panel in. Right, without further ado, I'll get on. Um, I'll give that another coat of paint. I've talked on long enough for that one to flash off. There's still a bit of heat in the panel. Um, and I can get on and get this cut. Um, and we'll get back to you. We'll get back to your part way through, you know, just to show you where you are. As, uh, well, where you are, you know where you are. I'll show you where we are. Um, as opposed to, you know, putting it on the stand and that, because it can be a bit laborious to watch, I suppose. Um, I don't mind watching it myself. I don't mind watching the stuff I've done myself, you know. But then again, I don't mind doing it, so, yeah, well, right, I'll stop gassing, um, I'll get back to you, what, five minutes? See you in a bit. Well, as you can see, guys, uh, any, any light we once had, we've now lost, but, I don't know if we can make it out, not. we've started putting the rear built-inch panel on, and uh, big bonus, We've got to have a clear with a spot welder as well, so got a few spot welds on the seam down here, a couple of tacks in just to hold it in place. Again, a ton of measurements because I can't put the boot lid into position, obviously, because I've got this bar running through there. So we made a, made a pattern off the boot, just for a piece of metal, and then I've been going across and checking and checking and checking and checking and checking. Um, got the cuts in, got a few tacks in. Um, obviously I'm going to leave it at that now so I can't, uh, can't say what I'm doing. We will have to get some work lights for me here. Obviously with the winter drawing in the way it is. Um, so yeah, we've got that tacked in. We've got this little uh, section in here. So we've got a tow bar to cut out. But that should be coming this week hopefully. Um, and we can start getting the floor put back in. Once we get the floor in, we're laughing. Anyway, guys, as you can see, we've got that on. We got that on. We're about ready for the floor now. Um, obviously, yeah, there's a lot of dressing up, a lot of measuring. Um, things got to be 100%. Our car won't be straight. We want it to drive in a straight line. We don't want to see it going sideways down the road. We don't want it to look twisted. We want it 100% bang on. Um, 
So yeah, a lot of measuring, a lot of prep, um, but we'll get there. So hopefully, maybe next weekend, possibly, we could have floors in the car, which would be nice. Once we get floors on, we can start moving maybe front end in the wings and get the front end done. We've got a full front end sat there waiting to go on it. Um, yeah, well, we'll call it a video, guys. It's, as you can hear, it's raining. Um, there's no light in here, I can't see the thing now, so I'm going to pack up and call it a day. We'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take it easy, have a good week.